Everyone has an opinion. Hello, Philip of Greece. You are the leader of your nation, or what will be your nation. You begin this tutorial at the same starting situation as the last tutorial. In the last tutorial, you learned how to build a basic economy, except you only have one city. In this tutorial, your task will be to incorporate another main part of the game, characters. For this tutorial, you should build a basic economy as you learned in the last tutorial. That means build improvements with your worker, explore the map and harvest resources with your scout, and promote in gen and general your warrior, and promote... That makes no sense, but sure, to defeat barbarians. Don't forget to heal after each battle. As well, this tutorial will guide you through how to influence the different characters in your nation. Philip, are you ready to found Greece to build a nation and write your legacy? Absolutely. Expand your nation to three cities. Oh, wait. I've got to... Oh, God. Okay. Well, there's a city site here. Oh, is this the exact same... This is the exact same site. Okay, so we've got to do all of that again without the hand-holding. <sighs> Let's just go in the same order. It worked well enough. Research divination and trapping. Greece begins the game with ironworking, stone cutting, and drama. Greece has the ability to build warriors in a basic rural economy. There are two technologies that you should research as soon as you can. Divination will allow the building of shrines, which will found and spread Greek paganism. Religions are useful as they provide culture in each city and help keep the population of your cities content. Trapping will allow the training of your first ranged unit, the slinger. Ranged units are great at supporting your warriors in battle, but you may be offered free settlers at the time. Same as trapping, forcing a decision. Go for free settler and delay being able to train slingers. Or choose trapping now and produce a slinger settler in a city. For now, research divination first. Yeah, I was going to say I'm going to do that first. Boom. Who are you? Oh, you're the worker. God, I thought it was a religious dude. And I was like, oh, wow, well, hey. Okay. Farms. Even though it makes sense to go to here, to here, and up, we are going to go build a farm. Oh, I could build a fort. Cool. But no, you build a farm. I don't have a scout. Oh, I do have a scout. You're my scout. Okay, well, let's go double check that these guys are in the same spot. Oh, he's fatigued already. No, 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 he's got a bit more. Good for you. Gentlemen. Oh, it means I can't move. Uh. Hmm. Let's go for Felina the Swift, age 23. I can't choose her. I've got no orders left, that's why. Never mind. Your wife has given birth to, I'm sorry, I was married? <laughs> Your wife has given birth to a son, Duke Aristander. Okay. That was dramatic. Oh, we're doing nothing. Why am I wasting my time? I need a settler. At the very minimum. And a worker. And another warrior. Ah! Nine years. Oh my god. That's Pe no, that's Pelia. What's this? I don't even know what that is. Anywho. I really just need you to, to find these people again. That's it for you. Four orders remaining. You guys can't go any further because you're fatigued. Um, I can do this now? Yeah, apparently I can. Oh, right, because I have an order now. Swift. Nice. Okay. Cool. Good for you lot. Have fun standing there for an entire round. 
Uh, that's all I can do. Now can you move? Oh, you can too. Oh, oh, we're not in easy mode anymore. Uh, should I get a second lot of warriors? Hmm. Except now I've got this going for uh, nine years, three more years. And then I've got to wait for the construction after that. This probably wasn't my best idea. How much health do you have? 20. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to get my ass handed to me. Like, royally. That was random, but sure. <gasps> You, you're doing your thing. You are doing your thing. Although we got a bonus for going that way, didn't we? Cool. And that is you. Opinion. Every character, religion, family, and foreign leader has an opinion of you. As Philip, the leader of Greece. Other nations and tribes also have a diplomatic relationship with your nation, which is influenced by their leader's opinion of you. A character's opinion affects the cost of their missions, their combat effectiveness as generals, and the discontent of their cities as governors. The opinion of the heads of families, religions, nations, and tribes will also affect the opinion of those entities towards you as a whole. Influence missions okay, give you the chance to improve another character's opinion of you. It is time to influence your spouse, Olympias, to improve her opinion of you. Olympias is currently upset. Oh, well, sounds like a her problem. If we improve her opinion to cautious, it will remove the negative upset yield opinion modifier. And her output... Is that upset there? I guess. God, he looks old for someone who's like two years old. Uh, an output of science and training will improve. Select Olympias and begin at the influence mission. Note, an influence mission costs 200 money uh, and two orders. You may need to wait a few turns if you have enough to do both to begin the mission. I mean, I can do both now, but that's rough. Um, you'll, you'll need to build a quarry there, sir. I seem to make sure I don't run out of money. Quarry... And you've got two more years. You guys continue to attack these guys. I've still got an order left. Okay, so this is this here. Courage minus one. Oh, no, it's her wisdom. How do I know she's upset with me? She's a schemer. Debauched. Lovely. Oh, that's her opinion of me. Upset. Oh, okay. She's jealous about King Philip? Well, why'd you marry him if I were the case? Okay. Influenced by King Philip the founder divorce. Ha <laughs> ha. Year to complete two. 50% influence exerted. Exposes our weakness. Minus one legitimacy. Ooh. Okay, well. Go get him, tiger. Takes two years to get that sorted. What's left? Ah, oh, my scout. Yeah, go find things. I get gold when you find things. Yeah, see? Oh, as in Mount Aetna. Uh huh, I follow. Sorry, gentlemen. Your wife has given birth to another son? Jesus, she's just breeding like a rabbit. Though I suppose this has been like five years, so yeah, okay. Your wife has given birth to a son, Duke and Peter. Deeply affectionate and prone to passionate gestures. Queen Consort Olympias, your wife, is a hopeless romantic. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, but good for her. Nee, little baby. Wait, we already had Alexander? Oh, that's why he looks like a dude. 
How old is Alexander? He's 17, three and zero. Wow, we had a massive gap between children. He's upset? Why? What did I ever do to you? Oh dear. Uh, well, I've still got this one more year. I can't influence you just yet. I'm pretty sure I can only influence one person at a time. Mission is already active, yeah. And he's, he's my little heir. I should probably make sure he's doing good. Oh, okay. Spouse, heir, succession, ambassador, chancellor, spymaster. All right. God, you're going to be so wounded after this. I am so sorry, gentlemen. I apologize. How long have you got to go? Two more bloody years. What about my settler? One more year. And you are fatigued, and we're done. Sorry, guys. You've successfully exerted your influence upon Queen Consort Olympias. Queen Consort Olympias becomes influenced by King Philip the Founder. Olympias influenced. You've successfully influenced Olympias. She now has a higher opinion of you. Continue by influencing three more characters. Good targets for influence missions are your spouse, heir, and heads of religions and families. Click on, well, I've got two more years before divination's done. Then I need to build a shrine. Click on any character's portrait to bring up, hey, we have a volcano, except I can't build next to the volcano. Well, it's a mountain, I suppose. Mount Edna. <laughs> to bring up their action panel and choose influence. Note, at the top right of the screen, character information is shown. Yep, I already noticed that. Okay, well, let's go influence our son. Who's now 18? Yep. And he's suspicious of me. Upset 20. Cautious plus 20. Okay, why are you suspicious of me? Aww. Come now, child. Family marriage? Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. Let's just make him happy first and then we can marry him off. Lol. Hi. That's that. Boom. Destroyed. Occupy. Great. Uh, heal. Oh, I need a city. Duh. You, get your butt over here. Next turn. Got one more year. Two years. Uh, city needs to build. What do I actually, what's militia? Cannot be promoted or earn XP. Are they just cheaper to build than a warrior? Anyway, should I build a farmer or should I build another worker? So that my resources can start going places. Hmm, I'm gonna build a farmer. No, I lie, I'm building a second warrior. I know I'm doing this, I already said I was gonna do this. Mish is just having a moment. Uh, we can get, oh, I can't get through here. Okay, well, oh, I can't get through there either. Do you think I can get through there or is that a, it looks like water as well. Ooh, there's dyes over there. It's gonna make one of the families happy. One of the families wanted gems. How do I make this bigger? My, my city. Artisans. Okay, you need a worker. You guys need to heal. Oh, we're going to be doing this for several turns, apparently. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I got a free worker. Oh. In that case, don't build a worker if I have a free worker already. Um, should I get militia to defend this place, or... 
suppose an extra worker isn't going to hurt anybody. Right? Yeah, I'll get another worker. Whatever. Uh, you've got to start making people happy as well as getting food and shit. So... Can you... You can travel on water? Too bad I don't need those specifically. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, he just gets in a boat. He's adorable. Okay, you work on that. You can go... That was a quarry, yeah? Go build a mine. Here. Build a mine. I have one order left. One more year and we're good to go. You've successfully exerted your influence upon Prince Alexander. Divination research. You've researched divination and may now build shrines. Greece has four shrines to choose from. Each shrine gives slightly different bonuses. Mouse over each shrine to view the details. Shrines are urban improvements. Urban improvements form the basis of your city's spread, allowing your cities to have more citizens. There are rules to keep in mind when placing urban improvements. In general, an urban improvement needs to be built next to two other urban tiles. However, if building an urban improvement on the coast, only one adjacent tile is needed. Uh, urban tile, sorry. An urban improvement will convert the underlying tile to urban if it isn't already. There are two exceptions to the above urban rules. A hamlet may be built anywhere. A hamlet is as special as it is like an outpost. It will grow into a village in 20 turns and after another 20 turns into a town. Shrines are the other type of improvements that may be built anywhere. Instead of growing though, shrines gain various bonuses depending on where you build them. For example, the Shrine of Hades gains bonuses culture if next to a mountain or volcano. You may only build one hamlet per culture level of the city, and shrines may not be built next to other shrines. You are now free to choose any technology to research, but you should consider research and trapping as soon as you can to allow tra training of a slinging unit. Don't forget that bonus cards such as free settle only appear once. Okay. Ugh. Well, I guess we better pick the free settler. <sighs> you guys are healing again. Mm. Well, you don't need to research a settler, do you? Because I'm getting a free one, and I only need the, the three cities, so cancel that and build another car. Because you've got three years, and then you're going to build a shrine. Ah, stuff it. Build a farmer. Oh, I can choose governor. Candidates available. Oligarch Orestes the Judge and King Philip. Well, shouldn't I be the governor of my own city? I think so. Can you get a governor? Or are you too small? Must not be of a different family than those. Requires garrison, stronghold, or citadel. How do we go about doing that? Warriors are healing. You're doing your uh, pearls unnecessarily. You, sir. Okay. And that was the end of that. Oh, wait. Should I be influencing somebody? How are we? We are cautious. You are now 20. That seems old enough for a marriage, if you ask me. Oh, I could upset the the, the um, line of succession. That uh, that wouldn't do such a thing. Family marriage. Uh may as well stay within the family, yeah. Within the city. Mm. 
Okay, it apparently takes a year to sort out his marriage. Sorry, Alexander. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm choosing your life for you. Okay, guys. Get your shit together. You're finally at full health? Great. Come here and... Go kill some dudes. Oh, because you healed, you can't move. Duh. I knew that. What is this? Barley. Ooh. Oh, it's the side of the map. I keep forgetting this map has edges. Ugh. It's a tiny map. Harvest dies. Okay. Prince Alexander's son gives in to his basic desires more often lately. He has lost one discipline. Sir, I'm arranging a marriage for you. That's really not appropriate behavior to be conducting right now. <sighs> Don't know what I'm supposed to do with you. Apparently he's bad in every single role. You get me minus eight gold because of your lack of discipline? Oh, you son of a bitch. <sighs> Build Shrine of Zeus? Um, yeah. Why not? Or we can build another mine. Am I needing something specifically? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. But, uh, I'm using those. So, yeah, sure. Build a shrine of Zeus. you and you are pretty useless so yeah I guess you can just chill that's probably as much as the map if I, as I can get so I don't think I can go south well, I could try but I'm pretty sure that is impassable oh he's fatigued whatever So you're married or not? I don't know. A year's passed, but I don't know that he's married yet. Alrighty. I wanted you to build a shrine as well, but I don't really have any. Yeah, Shrine of Athena is probably all we've got. We somehow expanded our influence out to here. <laughs> or you can go get that. I can build an Odeon. Well, we've got a shrine to Zeus. I mean, we can't have everything. Doing anything? Yes, you got a warrior on one here. Because I think I'll take the warrior up with them. So I don't want you guys to get too far ahead. How about you just chill here and hover there? Um. Yeah. You've got a worker in three years. That seems to be everybody. Have you married anybody yet? Duke Aristander is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. Okay. Free settler discovered. Great. And now trapping, I believe, is what they want me to get. You can start heading up, though you can't get anywhere just yet. My warriors are constructed. Great. You guys can head up as well. You're going to sit and wait.
chilling. We're doing trapping. And farmer, worker. Ah, yeah, you may as well come down. Yep, that's what I figured. Okay, you can now just stand there and do nothing because there's not much I can do with you. Greek paganism founded in Region. Pity it wasn't my capital, but whatever, it's a tutorial. Prince Alexander, your son, your heir, is likely to fly into a range if he does not get his own way. A most spoiled person? Oh, man, what am I supposed to do with that? How do I make him a good heir? <laughs> Should I just, like, not let him have the, the throne? Just, you know, take him out and give it to Aristander? You have built a shrine and found a Greek paganism. Each nation has a unique pagan religion, which is founded and spread by building a shrine. Pagan religions are not able to spread to other tribes or nations. They don't have the disciples, improvements, or theologies of world religions either. The four world religions, Judaism, Zoroastrianism, Christianity, Christianity, and Manichaeism. Okay, I haven't even heard of two of those. I founded when an... What? It doesn't even tell me anything about them. Um, a founded when a nation achieves each one's specific prerequisites or when founding the family seat of the clerics. Cities with that religion can then build disciples which are capable of spreading the religion to other settlements. These disciples can also build monasteries, temples, cathedrals and holy sites of their religion. Finally, disciples can establish theology for world religions. <sighs> Religious opinion affects the discontent of your cities within that religion. If the religion is pleased or friendly, discontent will decrease in cities without religion. However, if the religion is upset, angry, or furious, then discontent will increase in cities without religion. When a head of religion is pleased or friendly, they are able to convert other characters to their religion. Those characters are then influenced by the opinion of the religion. It will take a couple of turns before a head is chosen for Greek paganism. Then you may attempt to convert and influence the opinion of something or rather. I can't read it. Yeah, but what do I do with it, though? That's all well and good, but I don't know. Uh, can you please build a mine? Do I need a mine? Eh, never hurt anybody. Go build a mine. Build a mine. I need a lumber mill. Do I? I'm kind of using all of that, but whatever. Worker one year, farmer one year. Okay, my second lot of warriors still can't get up there. Next round, guys. Next round. do anything to fix this dude. He's just bad. <sighs> okay, not much I can do on that front. Ah, the notifications. Gotcha. Okay. Lucius, the judge, has converted to Greek paganism. Hey, good for you, sir. I don't even know who you are, but nice work. Okay. No, not you. You need to start this battle. You guys need to join the battle. work. You need to stay there. Uh, oh, okay. I've built a worker. Yay. I didn't really need a second worker here, but that's okay. Build a farm. Because why not? More money is good. You want to have an apprentice acolyte. Why not? Why the heck not? You're all going. That's you. That's you. Oh, why them? 
Patriarch Seleucus the Judge, uh, Seleucus, is now the head of Greek paganism. Their opinion of you has gone from cautious to pleased. Duke Antipater is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. Yeah, you already told me that, but I don't know how to do that. Courtier types, court soldier, court minister, court sol- Munter court scholar. Okay, all courtiers can serve as generals, governors, or agents, regardless of their archetype. Their ratings of your global yields at one third of you. Christmas and Christmas. Religious conversion of the oligarch Orestus the Judge to Greek paganism. As well as the leader being able to directly influence a character's opinion, religion may also have an impact on a character. If you keep your religion pleased or friendly, converting characters to your religion will help increase. Sorry, I was just curious at how old he's getting, given the time limit. Um, increase your opinion of you as well. When enough characters in a family convert to your religion, the whole family will declare for your religion, which gives even more benefits to your nation. Oligarch Arrestus the Judge does not follow Greek paganism. To convert Oligarch Arrestus the Judge to Greek paganism, find him in the character list at the top right of the screen. Oh, I haven't thought of... Okay, yep. Click his portrait and begin the convert religion mission. Note... Okay. Ah. So that's my religious dude. Um. What's his opinion of me? Pleased, wasn't it? Yes, pleased. Ambassador, Chancellor, Spymaster. Yep, yeah, okay. Well, you, sir need to convert religion via Patriarch Lucas the Judge. Takes two years. Intercession family. What does that do? I don't know. Don't know what that does. Eligible governors. Huh. You're your possible governor. Can I make a governor here yet? Cries Garrison Stronghold or Citadel. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Quite sure how that works. Elig eligible generals. Eligible agents. Cautious. We can influence her. What is my general's opinion of me, by the way? Cautious. Mm. Hey. Well. We could influence her, I suppose. Get her opinion a little better of us. Before we influence her. Why not? And he's just troublesome. Uh, we'll convert the oligarch first before we convert my wayward child oh we've used things uh, well, I'm not builders I'm gonna continue this fight over here yay off you go oh he can't get there damn fatigued buddy Where it dies right there. It's nice. Oh, you're done with your uh, whatever this was. Oh. Do you want to build another farm? Do you want to grab these gems? I'm pretty keen for the gems, I'll be honest with you. Oh, you can't do anything with the gems. Can you harvest gems? I've got no orders left. That's why. Make 
increase the economy. Greece now has three cities, one for each of three chosen families in your nation. You should now focus on improving the economy of Greece. Have your workers build improvements in all of your cities. The capital has some good farm sites to the west of the city and quarry sites to the east next to the mountains. Your eastern city has some good mine sites on the east side of the river and the wheat site, oh I forgot about wheat, um, on the west side. Your western city has lots of trees which aren't really useful to you yet. Maybe in the next tutorial. Increase the output of food, iron and stone to plus 20 per turn for each. Okay, we are slacking. Food's the only thing we're excelling in. Note the output of each shield is shield. Yeah, cool. Okay. And now we to defend our attack. With greater riches come greater threats. As Greece increases in wealth and power, other nations may covet our cities. Philip, it is time to build a mighty army to ensure Greek dominance. Increase army size to three melee and three ranged units? Bloody hell. You'll need to research trapping if you haven't already to enable a single unit. Ugh, got one more year. Okay, well, harvest the gems there, sir. Is he, is he harvesting gems? Is that is that done or? Each year, 1d8. Cool, well, you just stay there then. You need to heal. Can I have one there at a time? <sighs> uh, you are idle. Well, you need a worker. Then go from there. Yeah, whatever. Can't do anything with you. You're useless to me. How are we going over here? Oh, we have a courtier. Where'd he come from? Adel is the minister. Tutor child. Tutor child. Duke Aristander. How old are you now? 14. Yeah. How old are you now? 28. Yeesh. I don't know where I got my courtier from, but I'll tell you. Ooh, he's a strict courtier. Ugh. Uh, cautious. Well, I can't do much about that. How old are you now? 54. God. How old? Until you, uh, die. Okay. He now has paganism. Great. Did you improve the opinion of the general? Yes, you did. Great. In that case, increase his opinion of you. Oh. Oh my god, that nice. Oh, so I, I'm. Oh, it wasn't her. Ah, I was influencing her. Okay, that's still going. Never mind then. Are you, are you getting anything over there? Oh, time. Gems need time to regenerate. Oh, I see. My apologies. Um... Do you want to build another farm? I mean, I don't need farms. I can't build out there anyway. What you need are quarries. Is this still the same turn? I think it is. Oligarch Orestes the Judge has converted to Greek paganism. Patriarch Seleucus the Judge has successfully converted Oligarch Orestes the Judge to his religion. Oligarch Orestes the Judge converts to Greek paganism. He has successfully exerted your influence upon Oligarch Dionysa the Younger. She becomes influenced. Okay, these are not fancy cards. I want this. <sighs> Unlocks new laws. Centralization, capital city gets science, vassalage. Leads to border boost, sovereignty with rhetoric and monasticism. Mm. Leads to free work up in forestry. Unlocks Hamlet improvement. They don't really know how to do Hamlets. Ministry. Oh, granary was what I was looking at earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot what I was going to do. You were building farm. I was looking more at Worry, but sure. Let's 
So I can't build a quarry. Oh, we can put a shrine of Hades there. Okay. Wait, what? The Hanging Gardens recommended? I don't think I can build the Hanging Gardens. I have to research that before I can do that. Okay. I want to build roads, actually. Connect the cities. How does one build a road? Requires labor force. I don't know what that means. No, I don't know what that means at all. Well, I kind of just wasted you. Intercede, King Philip said on behalf of Philip. Wait, what? Soul's influence, a leader may have a religious or family head perform an intercession on behalf of them. The title character must be of the same religion or family as the interceding head. King Philip Settler is a follow-up of Greek paganism. Find him in the Greek list and have your head complete an intercession mission. Uh huh. Why is he having an intercession on him? Wait, I'm looking for me or am I looking for what's his face? No. That was, you know, necessary or relevant, but sure. Um, idol. Stonecutter, miner, apprentice, poet. Or we can start doing some fun things. Have a festival. It's not even remotely relevant, but whatever. Build a mine. Yeah, we need mines. Hmm. Um, can you build a quarry somewhere? Build another mine. Hmm. <sighs> Why was I building these quarries out, yo? You said it was supposed to be around this mountain, but there's nowhere to build quarries. I don't know how to get... Do I just build a quarry in the middle of nowhere? So if I just go here and go bam, build a quarry. Force it. It only gets me plus five. Mm. Next turn, get the hell out of dodge, alright? Heal on neutral territory? Nice. Um. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe next turn you can move and then do that. These guys didn't really take much of a hit. We could probably just leave it and. To be fair though, there's nothing you can do because there's no one else on this map. Has converted to paganism. Great. Philip is you and the governor of Pelia. Promote Philip Settler. Upgrade equestrian. Mounted units. Affable. I can't believe I get to choose my uh, epithet. Um, or upgrade plus one charisma. Yeah, probably not the worst thing you could do. Just saying. Who are you? You're a worker. I need quarries. How am I supposed to win this game if I can't do what I need to do? I don't know how to make this bigger. Farms are unnecessary. Maybe you should just build a quarry here, whether I like it or not. Just go there and build a quarry. Okay, 
Warriors, full health. Move out. Add a general. Take Alexander. Because why the hell not? Fortify. Interesting. You really need to heal, I'll be honest with you. Focus, Siege, Ranger, Fierce. We can just make you like really awesome. Good for you guys. Um, a Master Acolyte. Where did my previous Acolyte go? Oh, does he just go chill at the um, shrine? Oh, okay. Sure, and then a master acolyte wouldn't hurt. I've got plenty of food to go around. Oh wait, we're supposed to be building armed dudes. Ah, I need slingers. And another warrior. Drat it. Uh, are you done with all your influencing and shit? How are we going? Mm. Let's start getting on good side of our sun, I think. It's not the worst thing that could be done. Oh yeah, we should start converting my family members. Oligarch arrest is a judge mission. I thought that was already done. Where is he? Him. Foolish. Nice. Hmm. We don't have a state religion. I don't know. I'm not sure I really fully understand what they ask of me, but close enough. Training boom in Regan. Cool. Adelis the Minister's tutor Duke Al Aristander, improving his charisma. Yay! He's already a better leader than Alexander ever will be. The judge has successfully interse intercessed upon uh, the judge on our behalf. Okay. He's a good friend to have. I will keep him pleased. Damn straight I will. This dude's doing great things for us. Alright. So. What did I want to do? You're like going to die sometime in the near future. Because people didn't live very long back in the day. So. Let's convert you to this religion. I think that's a good thing to do. Tutor to you. Tutor child as courtier. Eh, whatever. Wait, oligarch Gorgo the spoiled? No. What about Antipater? He needs to be tutored, but I don't have any courtiers left because I he, use already doing him. Tutor, uh, yeah. Three years, kiddo. If you can wait three years, I will get right on that. And you're just useless to me, honestly. Let's see if he'll actually marry this time. Oh, she's female. Okay, interesting. She doesn't, no, she's a bit old to me. Alrighty, so. Should have done the festival. I should have done these uh, men that I needed. What are you doing over here? A worker. Okay. Once you're done with the damn worker, oh, I don't know how to get these things up. You've 
successfully exerted your influence upon Duke Aristander. He becomes influenced by me. The Argeid family is converted to Greek paganism. Yay! Their opinion of you has gone from pleased to friendly. Your influence spreads. You've successfully influenced three more characters. To summarize opinion, character opinion affects how productive they are and how they will react towards you. Family opinion affects the productivity of their cities and how effective their units are in battle. Negative family opinion may lead to rebellions. Foreign nation and tribe opinion affects how they react to you in diplomacy or trade and may lead to war or peace. Religion opinion affects the opinion of that religion's followers. Discontent in your cities of that religion and other nations that follow that religion. Character opinion influences their families, nations, or tribes, and religions' opinions. Using the abilities of your leader, the head of your religion, and the heads of your families, you are able to influence the opinions of characters or intercede on your leader's behalf, and thus their families, nations, or tribes. Which is... That's a lot of wordage. It takes one bad apple to spoil the barrel. That's not good. Okay. Can't do anything else with my family. Will this dude ever marry or is marriage broken? I don't seem able to make him marry anybody. 18's a bit young. Although. You never know. See what happens. I don't really know how this works. I'm kind of just making things up as I go, let's face it. You're already converted. No, I can't do it yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, I still have no workers available. Okay, growth boom impeller. Queen Consort Olympias, your wife has been converted to Greek paganism. Patriarch Seleucus the Judge has successfully converted the Queen. Yay. Duke Aristander now has the hero trait. Come on. Alexander, you need to fuck right off. Your brother is way better than you are already. And the Sipsalid family has converted to Greek paganism. Yay. That's great. Maybe I should just abandon this kid. Can I convert him? They're the same. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't really know what that does because it doesn't seem to be fucking doing anything. Okay, child. Oh no, we've got one more year. One more year! Sorry, got ahead of myself. Okay, you need to build another goddamn quarry. Just build it here. Terrible place for it, but just do it. Ooh, I can build a theatre. But no. Just build a quarry, slap bang, right there in the middle of town. I need you to build a mine here. I will learn to right click at some point in time. And then you, sir, build another mine. I'm out of orders, never mind. Atlas, the minister, has tutored Duke Ar Aristander, improving his courage. Fast as a stooping hawk. Everyone knows Duke Aristander, your son, to be swift. Okay. So he's good as a general. Uh, you can build your mine now, sir. Slinger, four years. Worker, one year. Idle, yes. Okay, we need another warrior. Alas. Okay, you do that. I mean, he could do with some more years. And one of these days, you fuckers are gonna marry somebody. <laughs> this is so difficult getting them to wed. I don't understand why it's not working. Does it just not work because I'm not allowed to in this tutorial? <sighs> I'm trying to be thorough. Duke Aristander, your son is converted to paganism. And the health of the king has taken a serious turn for the worse and he is now severely ill. 70% chance per year of death. Ugh. Well, to be honest, I don't really want this kid to take the throne. I'm not gonna be honest with you. He's really a bad influence on this country. 
because of his lack of discipline. Hero bold spoiled. Hero swift. Better charisma and courage. Oh god, poor Philip. What happens if I make him my heir before I cark it? It's probably not gonna go very well, is it? <laughs> He's probably gonna rebel. Warning, could change the succession. Well, isn't that the point? Costs a hundred civics. Oh, how do I get my civics up? Hmm. I don't know. Damn, I can't change my hair. Can I at least convert to the religion? Convert to the religion. Oh, that also costs civics. I've just been like using this, not even realizing. I've just been wasting it. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, I need more civics. You need another slinger. Ooh, and get a council. Ooh, you get extra civics. Too bad. I need a slinger to complete this damn game. Oh, I only need it to 20. I thought I needed it to 30. I was looking at this thinking this was food. Oh, I'm an idiot. I need farms. Yeah, farm me up, buttercup. I'm silly. Very, very silly. Duke I Sandy's son has a new illegitimate... Bruh, this is the shit I expected of Alexander, not of you. <sighs> Lysimachus. Okay. And Antipater now has the orator trait. Okay. Man, what am I going to do with this son of a bitch? Slavery and freedom, doesn't that seem like a bit of a... Requires labor force. Oh, I needed this for roads. Can add road. Takes seven years. He's gonna cark it before then. Uh, I need another another farm. If you could please be so kind. Thank you very much. How old are you? She's doing all right for a fifty-five-year-old woman. 36. Hmm. Oh yes, we can convert the religion now. Will you just marry already? Why is this at- Oh, wow. 19, you know he looks older than his brother. <sighs> can somebody just marry somebody? Anybody? Ugh. Fucking civics. the best way to increase civics maybe some of the buildings hmm could be the buildings atlas and minister has tutored duke antipater improving his charisma oh my god you had another illegitimate son dude can you stop sticking your dick into women it's just getting ridiculous at this point get a wife voice children upon her ah <sighs> Able to give a rousing speech and demand. Duke Antipater, your son is inspiring. You're still alive? Wow, it's a miracle. Can y'all just stop spitting out children? You're killing me here. Absolutely killing me. <sighs> okay, my civics is now good. Would somebody just marry somebody? Please, for the love of God, marry somebody. Where was that worker? Um, can I build something? What gives me civics? Absolutely nothing gives me civics. 
upgrade to militia. I don't really know the answer to that one. Militia probably can't build, can they? Yeah, none of these things gets me anything that I want. So, go build an Odeon. Minus one. Oh, for construction, of course. I don't think I need another farm. Plus 7.5, and adjacent plus one. Not a farm there, sir. Why not? Civics, so you know what can a girl do? Alexander the Bold, your son has converted to Greek paganism. Okay, well at least he's joined the religion. <sighs> Just got any pater to go. Promote. Oh, okay. He's doing great. He's he's converting the entire country. Uh, would you like some wisdom, courage, or discipline? What do you currently have? You're very charismatic and disciplined. He's in love with King Philip. Super. <laughs> um, wisdom would be great because he doesn't have any of those. He's intolerant. Ugh. I'm going to give him some wisdom. Okay, so we still need the farm. We still need the men. Go fish. Because why the hell not? What did you build? Mine. Righto. Um. Am I correct in that I could only build inside, or is that an incorrect supposition? Yeah, I can only build a fort. Can heal units anywhere. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm just curious to see what happens with the fort. The tutorial, after all. Uh, do I need another? I'm pretty sure I need another slinger. I'm just gonna move him. Hmm. It's gonna move another city, but it's fine. Idle. I don't really need another slinger, but pretty sure I've got them all happening. Oh, oh, these give me civics. Yeah. Council 2 plus 60% civics. Is straight 60 civics better or is plus percent better? Oh, it tells me at the top. Plus 8.4. Oh, they all say plus 8.4. Whatever, do that. Oh, I picked the shorter option. Huh. He's still holding on. <laughs> He's not dead yet. And this guy still hasn't married. I wonder how marriage works. I'm pretty sure it's just because it's. I can't do it just yet. After one too many nights of revels, Duke Aristanda is now drunk. The effort I put into this kid, and this is how he repays me. Wow. Absolutely wow. Go build another farm. Why not? The more the merrier. Oh, you built your fort already? That was quick. Go build the oracle recommended. I can't build whatever that is. So where to upgrade my cities? Oh wow, why? 
Minus one pleased religion. What does that even mean? Difficulty. Oh, so my difficulty alone is making life difficult. Great. Okay, well, is there a building to make people happier? No. Huh, <sighs> now you're just kind of idle, aren't you? Sorry, whoops, I meant to move you first. My bad. Uh, can you please make an apprentice poet? Even though I should be getting specialists, but you know, whatever. It's only a tutorial, guys. Oh. I just, I don't think this, I don't, don't think that works. Swift, drunk, inspiring. Uh, have we converted your religion? No, we haven't. Because I couldn't afford it. Let's change your religion. Get you some training. Oh, I can't because you're not a child anymore. <laughs> Missed those years. Hey, busy focusing on him and look what he's done. He's fucked me over. Well, it doesn't matter about your relationship to me because I'm about to die. Oh, I, I can't do any more research, apparently. Oh no, there it is, it just disappeared. Duke Aristander is feeling ill, lightheaded, and weak. What does that mean? Ugh. Well, I hope he gets rid of that. You guys all suck with your discipline. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, and your Duke and Pater never gets around to doing anything here slothful. Y'all are useless. All three of them. Get rid of them all. Start on you. The economy of Greece is growing. Awesome. Let them eat cake, even though this isn't France. Yeah, I've got nothing for you, buddy. I've got absolutely nothing for you. Go build a farm here, because that's all the land is good for. Oh, hold on. We can build a shrine to Athena here. And an Odeon. Build a shrine to Athena. Oh, we've got 120 here. He's slothful but inspiring. <sighs> Guys suck. Understand the intercession. I don't understand what it does. You know? Antipater has converted to Greek paganism. Fantastic. Oh my god, he died? Because he got sick? Bloody hell, that was stuck. <laughs> Holy shit. He's just alive a minute and the next he's dead. God. That's just. Bewildering. And what can you build here? A shrine to Hades. Okay, then, sure. Why the hell not? Build a shrine to Hades. Oh, we can build a shrine to Poseidon, I think. Somewhere around there. Damn. Four years for a slinger, two years. So four years until I can finish this. Okay, is there anything we can do? <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can do. Yeah, I know he's severely ill. What of it? I'm trying to do things before the dude cocks it. What of it? 
Although he was at death's door, King Philip the Settler has miraculously recovered from being severely ill. Wow, so now he's just got a die of old age instead. And Ferratima of Reagan has converted to paganism as his Sanani the Tracker. Good for you guys. <gasps> yeah, let's build a shrine to Poseidon in the middle of the goddamn nothing. I'm all for it. Do it. Makes total sense. Okay, and then it's y'all doing nothing yet again. Um, hmm. <sighs> I don't know what it does, but do it anyway. You've successfully exerted your influence upon Duke Antipater. Whatever that means. Food boost is a permanent thing. But I don't really need it, is the thing. I mean, I'm going to finish before six years go past anyway. Sure, build an Odeon, even though- don't we already have an Odeon here? Somewhere? Whatever, sir. Go build one. The game wants one, apparently. You may as well humour it. Oh, that was down in this city, wasn't it? Never mind. Different city, different rules. Uh, I'm running out of things here, sir. Yeah, sure, I'm mine. Mine never hurt anybody. Go be one of those. Ah, you built the slingers. Fantastic. Congratulations. Go build a fisher. soon, I'm sure. I'm so tempted to just make him the heir. Just cause. Just cause I can. <laughs> Alright, quick show potential missions. Yeah, that's fine. I can just get them over here. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Oh, it just happens? Oh, no, no arguments or, or hate or anything? Oh yes, now he's upset. And he's very pleased. Bypassed. Whoops. That's, I can't even make him happy. Oh well. We're gonna die soon anyway. We're gonna finish the game soon. The tutorial, rather. Okay. Still don't know what that does, but go team. What does. I don't really know. Oh, I just get extra shit by having intercessions. Cool. What do you want? A master poet? Yeah. Let's do it. And an elder poet. Cue it up. You are now known as Philip the Able. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Philip now has an army to lead. This army will be very useful in the future to defend Greece from foreign invaders. Victory! Okie dokie. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to rule your nation. Can you just get them to marry? I spent all of Alexander's life trying to force him into matrimony with some random ass chick. 